my name is Cynthia R. Meeks. I'm a metaphysical spiritual teacher as well as a life path strategist that uses numerology to understand the energies within. Welcome to Defining Life Path. This video is dedicated to Remy Ma and I'm going to give her, so allegedly um, she hit a female in the face, gave her a black eye, allegedly, uh, because uh, maybe she said something about her stepdaughter. This other person said something about her stepdaughter and she um, reacted in punching her in the face. Now, I'm going to get into why uh, that should never have happened in the first place and what she needs to do, three tips that she needs to do to prevent going to back to prison okay to prevent going back to prison I'm gonna give her three tips that she can use right now that will help her get out of this situation and continue continue to keep her on the positive high frequency radiant energy that is exactly what we wanted her to stay positive and I'm going to give three tips as to what she can do to um, prevent going to prison so first I want to talk about um, Remy Ma's date of birth because as I said I am a self-taught numerologist and I look at energies um, of people when I am uh, trying to see why they acting out like they are and I start with the day that you were born on so Remy Ma total birthday I believe is May 30th 1980 which means her born gift is a three because you dropped the zero, which is a three, and her life path is a 17-8. So right off the bat, with the three energy, is letting me know that she is very creative. She's an entertaining, uh, entertaining child, very creative child. That's why she can cook. She loves fashion. She loves. Um, she can communicate. Uh, sometimes her communication skills may not be in the best best way uh, because oftentimes she acts out with the ego. But I get into the ego. In a, in a bit, um, but she is a very creative child, so she can do many different things just besides rapping or anything in the um, music industry. She can do a lot of a lot other things creatively as well. Three energy is with, she is emotional. She but when people have the three energy, instead of showing their emotions uh, outright, they normally come off being very aggressive with the emotion and um, instead of crying they act out in a different way that is very fiery uh, if that makes sense okay some people who are sensitive they show their emotion by crying um, by you know showing their feelings all the time however when you're three energy your emotions are shown very differently it comes out or come across in a very different way uh, so now her life path when I added up all of her date of birth um, May 30th 1980 I believe her life path is a 17 8 and the 17 8 energy it, it yeah it explains why she has kind of done a lot of things in her life that she has done for one, she's very successful. She can easily make money. She's very materialistic. She liked the name brand clothing, the cars, the jewelry. Um, that comes with part of the eight. I want to give you a complete list of the characteristics of an eight. So the characteristics of an eight, the positive characteristics, we're gonna go with the positive characteristics first. Cause you know, I always like to focus on the positive. You know, I am a very, uh, the, the spiritual side of me definitely wanna focus on the positive, help you get back to the positive to bring you from that, um, that negative side and bring you, you know, straight spiritual and, um, and, and, and showing all of your, and, and actually uh, reflecting positive energy out into the universe okay positive vibration so positive energy of a 17 8 r achieves goals efficient inspirational leader organized confident ambitious positive um energetic and practical now those are some of the things for the life path 17 8 
Now, let's get to the negative side of that. And you will see when I read the negative, if, if you think that she has some of these negative qualities, okay? Materialistic, too rigid, too stubborn, uh, too driven for status and power, need to control others, overly competitive, and do not take direction or criticism well, impatient and intolerant. Okay, so that is the negative side of a 17-8 life path. Um, again, you can determine, you know, I'm not whether or not she has some of the positive and the negative qualities. So the eight energy has a lot to do with the planet Saturn. And with the planet Saturn is considered like the good teacher. And the reason why the eight um, is signifies a good teacher is because eight is always constantly repeating the lessons that they have to learn they learn the lesson and then they turn right right back around and do the same thing again and that's why the eight shape is like this okay because it's basically you you went around and you learned this lesson and now you come back around here this lesson is all over again it's teaching you again now you got to go back up and so you are a great teacher because people can actually learn from all the mistakes that you are making um, but once an eight realize that this karma keeps showing up in their lives based on what they're doing, then they have the opportunity to truly learn from their mistakes and change their entire destiny. Just because your energy that you were born with says one thing about who you are, that does not, nece that does not necessarily mean that you are stuck there for the rest of your life, okay? You can change your destiny, you can change the energy, you can add more energy, you can add more habits to yourself, good habits and good energy, you just have to stay away from the negative. So if you know that, you know, you keep having these same lessons and you're going through these same lesson patterns, change it, stop doing it, say no when you are getting to that point of no return, how to turn yourself around and go back the other way. That's actually learning from your lesson permanently. And um, she is a 17-8 in her life Had 17 is a beautiful number because 17 usually means you can manifest everything in your life that you put out there, materialistic gain, anything that you're working very, very hard to get the things that you are wanting. So you can have the, the, the nice material uh, things that you want in your life because you're gonna work very hard to get it. Sometimes an eight work hard in the wrong way, getting the things fast in the wrong way, and sometimes they do learn from their mistakes and start getting uh, what they want and having all these uh, things manifested in their life the right way. Um, I think that um, with Remy Ma, it is the ego that has taken over. The ego has taken over to the point where she cannot um, show much compassion for others. So I don't want to kind of jump into the three things just yet. I want to give you more information about the life path uh, of the 17-8. Um, and these are qualities for 17, eight life path. That means the total, uh, adding up the total um, birth date. And this is the number for if you're born on the 17th of the month. And if you know, a lot of people who are born on 17th of the month are very smart, very creative, uh, have a wealth in their life, Steve Harvey. Uh, born on the 17th. Ray J was born on the 17th of the month. I believe Michelle Obama was born on the 17th of the month, I believe. So if you, you know, check other celebrities that are born on the 17th of the month, I think all of them were born in January. But you don't necessarily have to be born in January. You could just be born on the 17th of the month in any month. And these will still be the energy that you have within or if your total date of birth equal 17 eight. Dealing, okay. When you are dealing with a 17 eight, power and status is very important for a person that has the eight energy. Also, karma. If you are born on the eighth of the month or the 20th, what, 26th of the month and the seven, or the 17th of the month, or your total equation of your birthday, the total equation of your date of birth equals, or the, the uh, total sum of your date of birth equals uh, an eight or a 17 or a 26. Um, 
then you have the qualities, energy of an eight, which means the power, uh, the control, and often the karma. If you have that eight in your chart, karma is very important to pay attention to because whatever vibrations you're sending out, they quickly manifest, good or bad. So if you are sending out you know, angry, uh, hatred, jealousy, all these different vibrations, it's going to radiate what it, and bring things to you that, uh, that you are sending out. So when you are eight, when you have eight energy in your chart, you really truly have to be careful about the karma that you create. You only want to do good karma because it will surely return back to you, especially if you're watching this video. And now that you know, it's going to come back quicker. So try your best to treat people how you would want to be treated. And that's what karma, treating people how you would want to be treated. And more important, even no matter how they are treating you, you still find a way to have compassion and love, um, the seven qualities of the soul, which we want to go. Remy Ma is in her personal year 11, because this is the year 2019, the year of the universal year three, which makes her in her personal year 11. Now, personal year 11 um, is a very spiritual year and it will be a very high voltage year, which means there will be some things that show up in your life that you have to have a spiritual connection to be able to deal with a lot of these, uh, a lot of the things. This also will be a very emotional year for her. Um, and I'm sure she's already feeling that, but a lot of the emotion that she is bringing on to herself, and we will get into that uh, a little bit, but understanding what year you're in will help balance you out because we go through a lot in life and we don't even know why. Why is this happening this year? Why are we going through this year? And that's why it's so important. I'm not an advocate for numerology, but I am an advocate for energy. Knowing what energy you have within and adding, you know, if there's something in there that does not resonate with you, if it's the negative part of your energy, change it. You always can add new energy into your into your destiny, into your um, subconscious, and to inside of you just by practicing new and better habits. And especially now that, um, she's in her personal year 11 knowing that this is a very emotional year it's best to kind of get a, a grip on a lot of things because she's not going to understand why do i feel like this why am i why you know and instead of her um gravitating to good emotions she is you know sending out these other emotions and which are attracting more and more of these emotions back to her that's anybody that's in the personal year 11. There are nine year cycles. However, if your date of birth equal 11 or 20, uh, if your year, your person year equal 11 or 22, then you are not just in a two year or a four year, you're actually in that master year of 11 and 22. And you don't have to add those numbers up to bring them to a single digit. And that's why she is in her master 11, her year, personal year 11 which is a year of emotions, going through a bunch of emotions. That's why she kind of needs to get a grip on how she is reacting. So stop reacting and start responding to people. Give yourself time before you react, before you just jump out there. Um, and that's the best thing to do, especially when you're in your spiritual year, because um, the Master Year 11 personal year is a spiritual journey year. Uh, it has the opportunity to learn profound spiritual lessons. And this is the year she totally needs to be meditating and get more and more in touch with the God within and her spirituality, reading and meditating uh, daily on her spiritual practices that will keep her grounded, keep her grounded and keep her with, with um, energized with the seven qualities of the soul, which is what we're going to jump into next. Okay. Okay. Tip number one, she needs to release the ego, the ego, her ego is so strong, so strong being, having that 17, eight, uh, energy. She needs to release the ego. And once she released the ego, she needs to get in tap to her spirituality. 
and her meditation and learning that when people come to you in a certain manner, when they come to you very disrespectful or they come to you and um, in a way that make you wanna jump off, just do the opposite, you know? It's the ego that wants to get back at them. It's the ego that wants to reflect back to them what they have given to us. However, if someone is coming to you in that manner, you just need to know that they are in pain, pain. And I'm not talking about physical pain. I'm talking about that non-physical pain, that anger, that jealousy, that resentment, that hatred, that that's the kind of pain that they're coming at you with. So in order to not reflect, not absorb, but transform that, that energy that they're giving to you, trying to send you away, you stop it and then you show them love and compassion and peace of mind. Because when you have all of that in you and all those seven qualities are working together with you, nothing will disturb your mind. Nothing will disturb your mind. Your ego will be so out of there that you would not, it won't even bother you. Oh, that's how you feel? Oh, you did that? Well, uh, well thank you for doing that for us. We really appreciate that. And that's the type of response, you know, it, even though Remy Ma may have grew, grown, grew up as this gangster girl who was in this all, you know, this, this man, predominantly uh, male um, industry, yes, that's and tip number two is what I'm gonna get to. Even though she, you know, grew up hard and she had to prove herself and, you know, she came out with these lyrics, well, now the age that she is, it's time to separate herself, tip number two, from Remy Ma. I'm not sure what her real name is. I think it's Resonance or something like this, Smith or Mackie, but she needs to separate herself from this Remy Ma. She either needs to get out of this rapping industry. Remy Ma is so creative and born on the 30th of the month that three energy, she can do anything and she will still have the audience. They don't care about her rapping and eventually that's gonna get played out anyway with the age coming up. But she can do so many other things besides that. But if she wants to stay in that industry, I suggest that she separate herself from the role of Remy Ma. Sing those lyrics, do all that, but step out of the role and still find those seven qualities and let that speak for her and who she is. That is gonna be very important with her because she, this is not going to change. With that eight energy, she's gonna to continue to learn the lesson and continue to repeat the lesson over and over again until she gets that ego under control and until she tap into the seven qualities of the soul. She's gonna to have to give her mind, give herself peace of mind. Uh, she has to get to a point where she is unbothered by whatever anyone says to her. Be unbothered, be unbothered. Nothing that someone says to her should interrupt her acting out and sending out radiant energy of the seven qualities of the soul, nothing. She has this beautiful baby, she has this beautiful marriage, she's back in the limelight. She just have to release that ego and separate herself from the role of Remy Ma. Be Remy Ma on stage. However, when you step off stage, be this reminisce Smith Mackey person who you were born to be. Be this calm, peaceful-minded, purity, powerful, uh, joyous, happy person that you were born to be, okay? Now, let's get into tip number three. Oh, yes, and tip number three. Get connected to the seven qualities of the soul. Get connected to the seven qualities of the soul. That is my tip for her. In order for her to, because by her being in her, her personal year 11, personal year 11 gives her so many emotions. So many emotions that she is dealing with right now that will make her act out. So the seven qualities of the soul that you are born with, that is natural to have, are purity, power, 
happiness, joy, love, peace, and knowledge. Okay, let me say those again. I must hopefully I can put them in order this time. Peace, love, purity, knowledge, joy, happiness, and power. Those are the seven um, qualities of the soul that you are born with. Okay, yes, you're born with all these other energies, but these are seven qualities of the soul that you are born with that are a natural, natural habit for you. However, we operate on, on, on this other list, okay, that we create. Even though we are born with the seven qualities of the soul, we still somehow operate on another list. And the other list that we can create for ourselves that we usually operate on is anger, hurt, jealousy, fear, anxiety, stress, irritation, competition. All those are negative, negative qualities of our soul that we, um, that we usually respond or react to someone else when someone else is coming to us in a wrong way. That's the first way, the first thing that we do, we operate on that because to us, natural is having this list of stuff. Anger, jealousy, hurt, fear, anxiety. That has become the norm. That has become the norm where you're not operating on the seven qualities of the soul and you just can't operate on one without the other. You have to operate, you have all seven of them and operating on all seven of them at the same time. And we're talking about peace, we're talking about love, we're talking about joy and happiness and purity and power. All of those at the same time and that's when you can have understanding for others and compassion for others. So the three tips I have for Remy Ma are release the ego, number one. Number two, Detach yourself from the Remy Ma role, okay? Be the person who you were born, the name that you were born, Reminis Mac Smith Mackey, be her, okay? And tip number three is to connect yourself with the seven qualities of the soul. And when you connect yourself with the seven qualities of the soul, Remy Ma, I promise you, no one out there, no other rapper, nobody on the street, nobody trying to email I me, mean, DM you, none of these people or anybody who dropped you know, something in your, uh, on your feed, none of these people will bother you. They will not, you will be unbothered by what they have to say. If you do these three things, and these three things will allow you to have a peaceful life and keep you out of prison, okay? Now, one more thing, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip, okay? And the bonus tip for this year, because you're in your personal year 11, your master year 11, I advise you to meditate, Remy Ma. You're gonna to have to meditate in the morning time. Take 30 minutes to meditate in the morning and 10 minutes to meditate at night because, and the reason being, we have so much technology out there and so many platforms that you know, you have all these other emotions and energies coming at you, coming at you all the time. And how you um, transform all of this and you protect your shell, you're gonna have to do some true cleansing meditation and getting in touch with the God within and also getting in touch with the peace of mind, getting in touch with your power, getting in touch with your happiness, with your joy, and nothing can get through that. Nothing can get through that. But if you are operating anywhere on that other list, on that negative side, on that other list that you created, because see, nothing can come into our life unless we invite it in, nothing. And constantly we are inviting stuff in because we can't turn the TV off. We can't stop reading what's on social media. We can't get off Instagram long enough or we, or we pay attention to negative stuff that's around. And so when we pay attention about, uh, pay attention to that, we're sowing that seed of the next thought that's gonna be in our head. When we pay attention to anything that's flowing around uh, through these platforms um, that are out there, or the, or, or a technology, you know, the TV, um, if we 
pay close attention to that and we don't release it with, through meditation before we wake up or before we go to bed, well guess what? You are planting a seed for your thoughts, your next thought to happen. Because that's how we get our thoughts, is by what we are reading, what we are watching, and what we are listening to. And if you are out there listening to anybody who would have something bad to say to you, or you're reading that somebody has said something bad about you, or you're listening to something that somebody else is passing this information to you secondhand, then unless you cleanse yourself and protect yourself, it's going to sink in and it's going to be manifest into a thought and then it's going to radiate out. That's why it's so important to try to stay on your high frequency energy high frequency energy so nothing can bother you. You will be unbothered about anything out there. Any of, there's so much stuff out there, so much negative going on. Um, I mean, it's just today's times because, because it, technology is growing and growing and growing. So how are you going to be able to protect yourself five years from now when technology is going to be far, far away from where it is right now. I mean, far uh, advanced, 10 years from now. How are you gonna be able to protect yourself then if you don't get a handle on it right now where it's truly is growing? You know, it doesn't take but a second for negative information to just grow like weeds everywhere. And there you are, reading it, you're watching it, and now you're listening to it. And now you have created this thought in your head, and guess what? Now everything that you, that you radiate is going to attract more of this stuff to you. So why are you doing this to yourself? But what, you, what you should do is release and cleanse all of this. Cleanse all, don't even let it get up in here to manifest to a thought to be able to manifest to reality, manifest to your destiny. Don't even allow it to get in here. Oh, oh, that's negative. Oh, I don't want to have no parts of that. So those are my tips for Remy Ma to prevent from going to prison from here on out. And also what she needs to do, if this video ever reaches her, um, what she needs to do is think of herself as this light as a feather. Think of herself as being this person who has released all of this anger, all of this resentment, you know, who, who released this bad, bad girl image. Try to do, visualize yourself as being the woman that you want to truly be for your children, for this brand new baby that you have. Look at all the positive things that are going on in your life, okay? Apologize to this girl. If you did strike her, apologize to her publicly and um, whatever, just clean it up so you would not continue to repeat the same things over and over again. Remember, you have the eight energy, just like Ray J, just like Steve Harvey, just like uh, Michelle Obama. You have the energy of the 17A, which you can manifest anything in your life. So be careful of the things that you are manifesting. Look at what you are manifesting in your life. You create, creating it all over again. Why? That's what you need to get to the root of this. Why and how can somebody use words? And nobody can hurt you. Nobody can irritate you. Only you can do that for yourself. So, so what is it about people what is it that they can say to you that can get you off your positive frequency? Because nobody can get you off your positive frequency but you. So what is it that you are doing that allowing someone to come over into your space and get you off your positive frequency? That's the first question you need to ask yourself. And then the second question you need to ask yourself is why am I creating all of this negative emotions for myself. Why am I creating this negative emotions for myself? And one thing I can tell you is that the lyrics that you sing, every, the lyrics that you sing are saying that you this bad B, you this, you this bad image. So you quite naturally, you are going, you have to perform, right? You have to show up and be who you're, who you're rapping about being. 
unless you detach yourself from that person that you're rapping about, unless you detach yourself from this Remy Ma, until then, then you will be able to understand how to apply the seven qualities of your soul all the time, 24 hours a day. Even when you're sleeping, you are still radiating these lyrics that you're singing. You're still radiating this rage out into the universe. So that's why it's very important for you to meditate uh, in the morning and before you go to bed. Longer times in the morning because you gotta get through these, you know, the day. But before you go, to, at least five to 10 minutes before you go to bed so you can clear and cleanse everything that has happened any emotions that have come your way, any energy that someone has thrown out to you, clear, clean and cleanse that off of you before you go to bed. So you can radiate happiness, joy, purity, power, peace, love, compassion. That's what you wanna radiate while you're sleeping and throughout the day, okay? So the first question is, why am I getting off of my positive frequency? Why am I getting off my positive frequency? The second question is, why am I creating this negative emotions? Why am I creating negative emotions? You see, when you create compassion for other people, it doesn't benefit them, it benefits you. When you create compassion for others, it benefits you. It benefits your physical health. It benefits your mental health. It helps you in all aspects of your life. And that's the key to not being bothered, is creating compassion for other people. Creating compassion to know that, look, they may have came into this world with karmic debt. They may not even know who they are. They may have karmic lessons. They may have other challenges in their lives. So being compassionate for other people, saying that I don't know what they're dealing with and why they approached me. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt by helping, showing compassion and love for them and blessing them and sending them on their way. It's just that simple. We are so programmed to react to someone who have said something to us. We're gonna tell them, we're gonna shade them, we're gonna. And that's, that's, that's the image that you're getting from celebrities and all you're doing is acting it out as a regular person uh, all the time. But that's not how to be. That is not the way to be. That's not gonna help your mental or your physical health. And that certainly is not gonna help your soul survival. In order to have soul survival skills, meaning that no one can bob you, no one can get at you, no one can get you off your high frequency, no one can help change your destiny by adding karma to your destiny, because no one can do that but you. So when someone comes to you in the wrong way, by showing compassion and love and blessing them, healing and sending them on their way, and transforming them, you react. And you give them, and the and you reflect the same energy that they're sending you. And guess what? Now, now you you have two souls that are connected in the wrong way. And now both of you guys are going to be connected, and both of your karma and your destiny is going to change. You're adding karma onto your destiny. So why even do it, people? Why even? Um, change and and hurt you from manifesting the things that you want in your life from men for, for for able to create more karmic debt onto your life we don't want that so just think about it think about it. the last person that you had words with was it really worth it all that energy they took to, to get upset, get angry, get mad, hate. All that energy, was it really worth it? Could you have just been compassionate and said, you know what, that person is in pain. And I don't know, it's not, doesn't look bad, maybe it's not physical pain, but something is wrong with them is the reason why they came at me like they did. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show how my soul is filled with spirituality and how I'm connected with my soul qualities. And I'm gonna say, you know what? 
whatever is going on, whatever I've done, I apologize. I'm sorry, or thank you. I appreciate what you had to say and I will govern myself accordingly. And you go on and you don't allow the sickness from them to interrupt or disturb your soul, your soul. Because you may have the eight energy and you may be manifesting things in your life, but it may not be the right things because be yours that you're using. I don't know your life path, certainly doesn't, don't know your born gift, but if you are born on these day, on the eighth or the 17th of the month or the 26th uh, of the month, I don't know why, <laughs> the 26th of the month, then you have the eight energy or your total numbers equal to eight. You have the eight energy. So I hope that you are not using your ego, your power for bad because I can surely tell you that your karma will return to you faster just because you have the eight energy. The eight energy is all about your karma and it's all about manifesting. So if your karma is bad, then you are manifesting more of that energy into your life. Now, what I want you guys to do who is watching this video, I want you to send Remy Ma white balls. Just throw white balls at her so, her so she can feel this love, she can feel this compassion. I also want you to do the same thing for the person who allegedly she hit. So you can so you can send her compassion because she was in pain too. We had two souls in pain. Two souls in pain. That we don't know anything about their pain, but what we do know, they acted out. One confronted a person and then the other reacted to her her uh, her energy. So we need to send both of them balls and stars, white stars of love and compassion and they can feel it. We can do that and we can, they will be able to feel it and that's, that's mind power. We all have this, this magical power within to create our destiny, a magical destiny. But we're gonna have to learn how to get connected to the seven qualities of the soul the seven qualities of the soul. And that means not being bothered by anything that comes your way, nothing. Because we know we have a future and we're creating our destiny daily with our thoughts. The thought is just, is, is, is what it is. Whatever we put into this mind of ours, it radiates out. Whatever we read, watch, or listen to, that's just the seed that's planting the thought. So you have to be careful what you are reading, what you are listening to, what you are watching, and certainly what you are saying. Certainly what you are saying, because what you talk about and what you radiate out your mouth, what you uh, throw, the energy that you send out is gonna vibrate right back to you. And it's so important to continue to watch my videos for one and to do the things that I suggest that will help you become better with your emotions. Better with your emotions. I was just telling my sister the other day um, about she was complaining about our mom and you know and she's doing this and she acting like this and I'm just you know I'm tired. Well you're tired because you're saying you're tired and you still have to have compassion. And I told her this, you still have to have compassion and know that she's going through things with our stepdad. He's in the hospital, he had stroke, three heart surgeries back to back, which led to a stroke. Our mother is in um, taking chemo right now. So they are going through a lot in their 60s. So you can't, how is it possible to get tired of someone who is going through all of that? It's not possible if you have the seven qualities of your soul radiating. Peace, power, love, happiness, compassion, purity. If you're having all these things radiating through you, then you will have compassion for others. We go through a lot, okay? People, we, as a black community, we go through a lot because we don't know who we are inside. 
We have been programmed, programmed since the day they brought Africans from uh, Africa. We've been programmed. Still, in the 21st century, we are programmed. And until you learn that stress and anger and hatred and competition and jealousy and all these other negative emotions, until you learn that it's not natural, stress, not natural, these are emotions that you have created. When you learn that, then you will better understand why it is that you need to release it. Because all of those negative emotions create discomfort in your mind, your physical health, your mental health, and any other health. You won't be healthy to stay in the right place and you want to create, you know, a beautiful destiny then you are going to want to listen carefully to these seven qualities of the soul and every day you want to be able to implement them in your daily walk, your daily talk, in everything that you do. Because if you do this, this will help you be undisturbed, undisturbed, by anybody, bill collectors, your co-workers, your, your family, your children, you know, people who think they can just walk up to you and just say anything, that will keep you from being disturbed. And you, instead of absorbing their energy or reflecting back to them their energy, you're gonna transform and then they will notice how you're acting. And wow, they didn't even, well, you were so calm, you were so peaceful. Yeah, because I don't have time to let nothing get up here. Nothing is gonna get up here that I, unless I create it and put it there. Nothing negative is gonna get there and get me off of my higher frequency energy. Because whatever I know that I'm thinking about is creating my destiny. Your destiny does not create your thoughts. Your thoughts create your destiny. And whatever you're thinking about, you're creating constantly, daily. So you have to put the stuff in here that you want to create. You don't just allow stuff to just to enter. You have to put the stuff in there that you want to create. So I advise you to stop watching the news. Because that the news is a persuasion mechanism to persuade your thinking. To get you thinking in the negative way. Protect what you have just coming in okay go over the seven and i may say more than seven but the seven qualities of the soul peace love purity peace, love, purity knowledge power joy happiness peace love purity knowledge power joy happiness Compassion, you can swap out one of those words for love or compassion, okay? Peace, love, purity, pure thoughts. No thoughts of negative, only positive. Positive thoughts, anything that happens in your life, always look at the positive energy. There's always a positive side of no matter what happens, it's always, always a positive side of it. I promise you, I promise you, and if you just take a few seconds before you respond, before you react to someone and turn that reaction to a response, life will be so much better for you, okay? We're going to review those three tips, plus the bonus tip that I have for Remy Ma is release that ego. You're going to have to let that ego go, baby girl. You're gonna to have to let that tough girl image that you have, you're gonna to have to learn how to shut her off when she needs to be shut off, okay? So releasing the ego. Number two, detaching from Remy Ma. Be that creative spirit that you are. When you are off stage, you come back to who you were born to be. This reminisce Smith Mackey person. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not disrespecting you. Uh, if your name is reminisce, then be, be her, okay? Be her, be that golden light, that creative spirit. Be that person when you come off stage or 
Get out of the rapping business altogether. Just be, be, you already have a platform. Use your creativity to make your money doing something else. But be an example. Be a spiritual example for other people to see how you have transformed, truly transformed your life. And it will be able to radiate in how you're walking, how you're talking, how you're viewing, and how you're responding to things, okay? And number three, number the third thing is getting truly uh, the seven qualities of your soul instilled in your mind, in your walk, all the time. That's the third tip, to get in touch and implement these seven qualities of the soul. And the bonus tip is to meditate. You need to meditate. You need to take the first 30 minutes when you wake up, uh, you need to just go into a quiet space, especially this year because you are in your personal year 11, which is a spiritual year, a year of spiritual lessons. So you need to meditate because you're going to constantly have these emotions from other people and yourself happening constantly and you need to know how to respond to these emotions, okay? So uh, tip number, uh, that's the bonus tip is to meditate. Meditate in the morning and at least 10 minutes before you go to bed. And that is all I have to say about this. We're gonna send you love, we're gonna send you peace compassion, we're gonna send you joy and happiness, we're gonna send all of these white balls your way, Remy, so you and this other person who life has been, um, has been, uh, I don't know how, how, I don't know, affected by all of this, even though she walked up to you, we're gonna send her love and compassion as well, because it won't be fair for us to just send it to you and not send it to the other person. So we're gonna send this double love to both of you. We hope that this stuff get cleared away. You don't go back to prison. I am, I am going to send you healing, healing vibrations so you can heal and be free of this negative uh, emotions, be free of his ego, and you can have this beautiful life with this beautiful husband and beautiful family that you have, okay? Again, people, my name is Cynthia R. Meeks. I am uh, a metaphysical spiritual teacher as well as a life path strategist, and I use numerology to understand the energies within. Always remember to love, live, and forgive. Love, live, and forgive, okay? Love you. Until next time, namaste.